Hello everyone and welcome to the video. This video is the part of Sales AI module playlist and in this uh, video I'm going to talk about the basic overview of sales process and how we can streamline the sales process to fast forward the whole procedure into the SAP Business One. So into the sales process basically we have four main documents and in that four documents, the first one is the sales order. The sale, when, when someone, uh, some customer, let's say for example, uh, a scenario uh, like you you have a business and in your business, you, have, you put your uh, customer satisfaction on the top priority and for making, making, the, making your, every customer happy, you want a proper, proper streamlined process even for the rush hours to handle each and every uh, uh, each and every orders from your customer to fulfill on the time so in uh, to do that we have basically in the sap business one four different uh, documents that you have to handle and the main important document in the ar invoice that i will discuss uh, uh, in the same in this video a bit as well and uh, so first first uh, uh, first document in this one is the sales order the sales order is basically uh, is a document which is shows the commitment from a customer or a lead to buy uh, buy at the agreed quantity and the price uh, a product or service from you then the second document is the delivery that indicate that the shipment is already arrived to your customer the third uh, the third document is the AR invoice and this is the only mandatory document in the whole sales uh, process uh, that is basically trigger uh, that the payment uh, the payment process and it's record the revenue in the profit and loss statement so that's why if you want to do the streamlined process in which for example if you have if you are handling a small business and in that business you have uh, really rush hours to handling the customer then you can simply create create the AR invoice that directly and um, that will gonna push your uh, delivery and also you don't need to create the sales order and after AR invoice you can directly go for the payment the increment payment uh, receives the payment from the customer and clear the customer account incoming payments are done in the banking module so it's not the part of sales module but it's the part of a uh, banking module but somehow it's related to the sales because we are expecting money uh, from the customer so here is basically the uh, one of the key data is the customer so let's go jump into the uh, sap business one and let's talk about the business partner master data for a minute and if you go into the add mode you will see we can create the different type of business partner master data and for the sales document the two most important type is the customer or the lead. So basically every document in the sales process must have a business partner assigned. So for example, if I open a sales order, then there should be a customer, otherwise you cannot even select an item. So before, before going any further in any uh, sales document, you should have a, a customer or a lead. Then the business partner which used in the sales order cannot use as a vendor because when we use vendor in the purchase order if you already saw my purchase model video then you already know about that and in the sales order we can only either use customers or the leads the difference between both are a lead can easily be converted into a customer later the sales order can have either a lead or a customer assigned so when you create a customer then you can uh, make either a lead or a customer once you move to the delivery so once you created the sales order and after creating the sales order when you go to the delivery when you then that time you should convert your lead into the customer or if you already have a customer then the the process would be smoothly worked out now here the second thing uh, the second item also that, that that is used in the sales uh, sales document is the item master data like after after selecting any customer we have to select the item right so that's why uh, the customer master data item information uh, is stored into the item master data inside the inventory and the uh, this is how it looks the uh, look the item master data and basically in the sales document you can uh, you can also set up 
the service type of uh, service type of sales as well for example if you're giving some consulting then that could be uh, come into the service type document and you can uh, you can easily enter the description of the service that you pro that your company is providing or if you if you have some some uh, some items which is only the sales item but not the inventory item and that could be also sales or purchase both but not the inventory item specifically then you can use that item as a as a uh, as a physical along with the physical item into your sales order as well to uh, to add add some of the items and services together into your uh, sales documents now uh, let's uh, the the price list so now let's talk about the price list a bit i'm only gonna talk basic because we uh, I'm, I'm already planning to make a, a whole new playlist which is gonna be dedicated for the pricing and we will learn more about that in there but uh, when you enter some of the item let's say for example if if you select one of the business partner and you select one item and let's say you want to sell the printer then as you can see in in here the unit price is populated automatically so one of the question would be here is how it's working like how the system knows that this item should have this price right so if you drill down to the item and you will see the price list then the, you will see that the sap business one provided 10 different price lists uh, that we can, that can be set up by by you and you can provide the different price list to the different customer uh, right so now you if you go back go to the customer and into the payment methods here you will assign a price list uh, to the to that particular customer and you can do that to the different customer as well uh, so for example right now this item have the price list one and the, and the price list one have the price 100 euro and you, you assign this customer the price list zero one so when you select this customer this item then this item will uh, see the price list here and it will pick the amount here as 100 euro so for a change if you're gonna select the price list two and i'm only gonna say i'm gonna sell this one to 80 euro in the price list two and now if you're in the business partner you select the price list two as a default price list then you can uh, you can add the sales order again with the same customer and now when you select the item then the price would be 80 euro instead of 100 euro so that's uh, that's how it's set it up into the price list and we will discuss everything in detail about the pricing uh, into the different uh, different video so don't worry about that but as I said, like one of the most important document into SAP business into the sales procedure is AI invoice. So consider an example that you have a small business and you have to handle all the orders that you are getting, but you don't have too many people to handle the system. So or you can instead of creating the order and delivery you can directly create the AI invoice and while creating the AI invoice it will directly push the uh, the delivery document uh, it will it will start the delivery uh, procedure and it's also gonna set it up the the data for the payments and it will prepare an invoice that you can send it to the uh, to your customer who is buying your product and that's how it's gonna help you to streamline the whole process and minimizing the effort of creating the multiple document like orders delivery uh, and you can directly jump into the AR invoice so basically what happened when you create the AR invoice, uh, then it's always to get to posting a debit and to a customer account to show what is uh, what the customer owes you. Like, uh, like for example, if you uh, order a printer for, uh, for one quantity, then the, cust you, uh, the customer owes you 80 euro uh, and plus taxes. Uh, for this account in the general entry and uh, it's also going to show debit. Uh, sorry into the credit in uh, for the sales revenue account to show you your profit into that account so when an inventory item is sold on ar invoice that has no proceeding document then two additional posting are made these are the posting for issued item from inventory that are usually usually handled by the delivery document and so for example if you just uh, did this uh, if so for example if you're gonna see here 
right now the inventory uh, available quantity is 107 right and in this stock we have 104 and you said okay i'm gonna make the deli uh, the AR, in A ar invoice for five quantity and if you add this document then you see that we have the sales order added and now see the quantity changes into the item as data now the in stock quantity is reduced by the five and the level quantity is also reduced from 107 to 102 so that's how the second uh, posting gonna happen into uh, the inventory status so uh, that's all i guess for the basic introduction of all the so whole sales process and i'm gonna discuss further more about the different document and the whole different process or how you can set it up uh, everything in your system and how you can make the uh, make the whole process smoothly into the sales document so stay tuned and take care till then